Let's take a look at one more example of solving a system in three equations with three variables. So we have 2y minus z equals 7. x plus 2y plus z is 17. 2x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 1. In our first example we looked at, we used elimination. In this one, we can use substitution because notice that this first equation only has two out of the three variables in it. So let's solve this for z. And so I get negative z is going to be equal to 7 minus 2y. And then if I divide everything by negative 1, I get z is negative 7 plus 2y. And what I can do is I can substitute this expression back into z into the first two or the latter of the two equations. So equation 2 is now going to become x plus 2y plus negative 7 plus 2y equals 17. So just substituted for z. And then equation 3 is going to be 2x minus 3y plus 2 times the quantity of negative 7 plus 2y. And that's going to be equal to negative 1. By just distributing and then also combining like terms, okay, our system now becomes, we have 2 plus 2, that's going to be 4y's. So we have x plus 4y. And then we're going to add 7 to the right-hand side. That's going to be 24. Distributing 2, we get a negative 14, and we get a 4y. And so the 2x stays, 3, negative 3 and 4 becomes a single y. And then if we add 14 to 1, that's going to give us a 13. All right. Now what we can do is we can very easily solve. Okay. Let's multiply the first equation by negative 2. Okay, because what that'll do is that'll give us a negative 2x and a positive 2x. And so now our system becomes negative 2x minus 8y equals negative 48. So again, we distribute to all three terms. And then we have 2x plus y is equal to 13. X's cancel out. Negative 8 and positive 1 is be 1 becomes negative 7y. Negative 14, 48, and 13 becomes negative 35. And we can divide by negative 7. And we get nicely that y is going to be equal to 5. Now we can substitute right here and solve for x. So we get 2x plus 5 is equal to 13. Subtract 5 from both sides. 2x is 8. Divide by 2. x is 4. Then at the very beginning, recall that we had that z was equal to negative 7 plus 2y. All right? So we always want to go back and try to use the easiest of the substitutions. Okay? And we could certainly plug it in right here. But let's just plug it in right here because y, z is in terms of y. Okay? So we would have that z is equal to negative 7 plus 2 times 5, which is y. This becomes negative 7 plus 10. And so z is going to be 3 for us. And so our ordered triple is going to be x is 4, y is 5, z is 3. Now, let's just make sure that this answer makes sense, especially with, tr um, with, especially with three equations and three variables. I'm just going to pick one of the two equations at random. Okay, So I'm going to pick this last equation. And I'm going to check to make sure that our solution satisfies that equation. Okay, so remember, we had 2x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 1. 2 times 4 minus 3 times 5 plus 2 times 3 equals negative 1. Okay, we're not sure. 8 minus 15 plus 6 equals negative 1. This is going to be negative 7 plus 6. That certainly equals negative 1. OK, so at least we verified that we think it's going to work. OK. All right. So now let's take a look at some application problems. OK, so we're going to create a system of equations for each scenario, and then we're going to solve the system to be able to solve the problem. Sum of three numbers is 16. Tw the sum of twice the first is uh, first number, three times the second, four times the third is 46. The difference between five times the first and the second number is 31. Find the three numbers. All right, so let's let x be the first number. Let's let y 
be the second number. And then surprisingly, let's let z be the third number. The sum of the three numbers is 16. Sum meaning we add them up. So that's one equation. The sum, adding twice the first, three times the second, four times the third, is 46. Finally, difference. Okay, so difference being subtract five times the first and the second number is 31. Okay, so there's our system right there. Okay, so actually it's not too difficult of a system to construct for us. Now, always solving these is a little bit nastier than it is being able to, to set it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that substitution method again, and I'm just going to pick on the third equation. I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides to solve for y. So negative y is equal to 31 minus 5x. And then if I divide by negative 1, I get that negative 31 plus 5x is y. Now I'm going to substitute back in for y into equation 1 and equation 2. Okay. Then I'm going to simplify so I get x plus negative 31 plus 5x plus z is 16. Equation 2 now becomes 2x plus 3 times negative 31 plus 5x plus 4z is equal to 46. Okay. Distributing and collecting like terms. Okay. Now we get a system. We have x and 5x is 6x. We have our z. And then I'm going to add 31 to both sides, right? And that gives us a 47. Distributing 3, that's a negative 93 and a 15x. 2 and 15, 17x. Uh, we just have a 4z. Right? And then if I add 93 to both sides, that should be 139. Okay. And that should be a 47, by the way, not a 4z. Probably wouldn't be good to have z's on both sides. All right. So now let's multiply the first equation by negative 4, because I know that negative 4z and positive 4z are going to cancel out. Okay. So by adding together, I get negative 24x minus 4z, 4 times negative 47. That should be negative 188. Then we have 17x plus 4z is 139. All right, and now what we can do is we can add the z's cancel out. This becomes negative 7x. And then I'm hoping this becomes something like 42 or 49 or something. So let's go ahead in our calculator. 139 minus 188 is negative 49. All right. Yeah, I always get a little scared sometimes when I'm doing these just because I don't know if the numbers are going to work out nice or not. Okay, but in this case, we do get x equals 7. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to substitute. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to substitute all the way back, maybe somewhere like up here, because z is already isolated, right? We only have a, a singular z, so it just makes it easier. Okay? Always make it easy for yourself. So we have 6x plus z is equal to 47, or 6 times 7 plus z is 47. Um, this is 42, so we're going to subtract 42 from both sides, and that means z is going to be equal to 5. All right. Finally, we can go all the way back right here to get y. Okay, And so y, so we have x and z. So remember, y was negative 31 plus 5x. Okay, so y equals negative 31 plus 5x. y equals negative 31 plus 5 times 7. Okay, so remember x was 7 right here. Um, negative 31 and 35 is going to be a 4. So our ordered triple is going to be 7, 4, 5. Okay, now does that make sense? Well, remember at the very beginning, the sum of the three numbers has to be 16. All right, so if we check that and that works out, it's most likely that the other stuff is going to work out too, considering all the steps we've gone through. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 5, 16. We take a deep sigh of relief because it works.
Okay. All right. So in our last video, we're going to take a look at two more equate, you know, systems of equations and three variables with applications, and then we'll be done with this section.